Hello and welcome back. This time we're going to talk about how to change a table. We had a table, we can insert data, we can retrieve data. However, what happens if we are not lucky with the table anymore? Because we tried and we failed, we want to change the table somehow. It's not satisfying us. Or Maybe the needs have changed and uh, there are additional uh, requests for a new column. Uh, that would be the usual, the usual request, I would say. Yeah? That there is something, something new simply. Okay? Uh, how to do this? How to do this? Yeah? Right now we can create a table. Huh? So we can create a new one and enter all the new data or all the old data also there, yeah, make somehow the same table and add one more row. Yeah, yeah. we can do this. Yeah. We can do this. Uh, the same table, by the way, the same table is very easy to create because in my create table, create table statement, yeah, I now write student list 2, uh, the new one. Uh, I always hint, I always number this uh, because some say student list new. Uh, okay, what if this then uh, next one? How is this called? Brand new? Uh, and the next one? Really new? Uh, and the next one? I don't know a name new. Uh, so number it then it's student list 3079 yeah and you know which is the newest one always yeah. okay what a uh, uh, great table student list too yes yeah. and now i can give rows i can give a select statement from another table and it will copy this table yeah. select Select star everything from student list. Uh, student list. Uh, enter. Boom. Uh, worked. And now if I enter show tables, there are two tables. And if I enter describe, Student list two, yeah. semicolon. It's the same description because it was copied. And if I select everything yeah, from student list two, it's the same. Yeah. It is a copy. Yeah. I'm no further in adding a new column. I mean, it's a copy. It I would have done the same with the old table also. No, <laughs> in my quest, in my request to add a new column, this did not bring me anywhere. Yeah. However, I could combine. I could combine those two technologies. Yeah. So here is my great table. Now I'm creating the table three. Yeah. And I'm not only creating a select, I'm also uh, adding a new column. I'll remove this now that we can read it better. I want to have a student mail address. Uh, and this is varchar. It's a text. Ui, varchar. 25, let's say, would be nice if it would be in one row, does not really matter, it will understand, I'm pretty sure. And now I add all other rows, yeah? select star from student list, enter, uh -huh. varchar, okay, did not manage to check this. Okay, so select create table, 
Vacha twenty five and now also select. Good. <laughs> uh, let's look have a look at the new table. Yeah. So if we are now where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Show tables here. It's a third uh, student list table. Yeah. And I now want to this have a description. Student list three. You see, there is also the student mail. And if I uh, use select from star from student list three. I see the student mail is not entered, there's no value inside. Now I managed somehow to add a new column, a new attribute to my table. Yeah? But I copied the table. You know, it's a waste, it's a waste of resources, it's a waste, uh, it's a waste of, of, of memories, of space, and it's, this is not beautiful. Yeah? There must be an easier way. There must be an easy way to simply alter the table. Yeah? And that's already the command, alter. Yeah? There's not only create table, there's also the command alter table. Okay? So, if I want to add a new line, alter table, table, of course, we would need, uh, we would need the table name. So, student list, I add it to the student list, and I add a new column, a new column with the name student mail, and this should be varchar25. Write it correct. This is what I always do. All the table, student list, add student mail, varchar, back. Now let's describe, let's have a description of our student list. Aha, uh -huh. there is now student mail added, was added. Let's select something from the student list. Aha, uh -huh. student mail was simply added. Yeah. It doesn't really matter at which position. Yeah. I can tell you it does really not matter at which position uh, the the attribute stand if they are in front or in the back or somewhere in the middle this is task of the dbms it is selected by the dbms somehow yeah, on some rules and we don't have to bother it and we don't have to annoy about this yeah. so there is student mail i can even use this alter table not only to add new lines i can even really alter an attribute Let's say, okay, I've now entered the student mail and said 25, 25 characters. For a mail address, this is not very long. Yeah? If I think of my email address in school, 25 is for sure not sufficient. So, we can use alter table, yeah? and then we do not add, we do modify. Yeah? Column, a column, and we modify this student mail. Yeah, we'll simply remove this. You see, I'm always working with these arrows. Uh, it's very convenient. Yeah, it's sometimes annoying if you, but for me, because I'm not that good typewriter uh, i'm not sure if you noticed already <laughs> uh, so for me it's easier that way student mail varchar and this should not be varchar 25 it should be 100 okay book the book let's see describe varchar 100 wonderful yeah. If we select something, it's still zero inside. Okay. One thing is also uh, 
the columns. Yeah? I mean, there is now a mail address, yeah? school email address. Yeah? This needs to be given by the school. Yeah? And now, I don't know, there is Marco Schneider and there is another Marco Schneider coming. Yeah? And we are adding Marco Schneider at HTL blah 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 blah. Yeah? Uh, we are adding by the, at the second the same email address. It is not noticing. No, it's just a field. Yeah? It cannot be a key because the key is already the student ID, yeah? the primary key. Uh, it has to be null. It can be null yeah? because, like I said, if we do have old old entries and so on, I cannot get set the default. Yeah? <sighs> there is something. There is. An additional ad additional attribute, and I will alter the table accordingly. Yeah? Modify column, and now I will alter it to unique. Mm -hmm. So there is not only not now or primary key. There is also unique. Unique means it must be unique in the table, yeah? and MariaDB will check this. But please notice, I'm not just only writing unique. I'm again defining the whole whole column. Yeah? I have to repeat what I the column definition. I must specify the column definition as whole. Yeah? Book. Yeah? Let's describe it for us. And you see, the key is now set to unique. Okay? Now. Whatever we enter in student mail address yeah, must be unique. So now, I'm not even sure what name I've mentioned, yeah, but now two students with the same name must get a different email address. Yeah. This is also often the case. So, email addresses are safe, can be stored in our database. We can alter the table, we can modify our table. I think this should help you a lot. Yeah. So next time we're talking about not only modifying the table, next time we are talking about modifying the data, because up to now we can only insert data, yeah, but not modify it. We'll get to this in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.